Hello, everyone. My name is Rena Pantaloni, and I'm with advisory services at Columbia University Libraries, as well as I chair uh, the advisory board for a new copyright education initiative called the Open Copyright Education Advisory Network. Openness. So I'm gonna start with my first one, which is what are the main benefits of open culture? And to me, I think the answer is almost self-evident. Uh, I've been part of and working in um, some form of openness for quite a long time. And that's that we are able to access uh, copyright protected materials and works uh, in a way that is exceptionally beneficial for those of us who are creative, who use and uh, are inspired by works that have been created by others um, to create anew. But we have to do so within terms and conditions of access. And so the key to enjoying the benefits um, of uh, uh, open culture uh, is to use tools that are available to us, like Creative Commons licenses, but also um, it's about education, about how copyright works, like what we do uh, in the Open Copyright Education Advisory Network, also known as OCEAN. Um, it, it is essential to um, understanding um, how we can uh, use materials in an open environment um, and uh, how we can leverage the benefits. The second question is all about what are the barriers to open culture? And this feeds right off uh, the answer I gave uh, in the first question about, and it's about education. I think there's just a, a real lack of understanding about what we mean by open. Open um, is now used as a term by many to mean many different approaches to accessing content, materials uh, that have been created by others. And in fact, open is often spoken as if it's a binary choice. You either participate in open culture or you don't. And in fact, it's not about a policy decision, but it's really about an author's choice. Authors can choose to participate in an open environment, and sometimes they may choose not to. But you need education to understand when that is beneficial and when it isn't. The third question is about, could you share something someone else told me about open and how it, um, pardon the pun, opened my eyes and mind about open culture. Um, it was when someone pointed out the distribution impact of open. Attribution is a very important element in copyright ownership, but more importantly, author's rights. And what, um, the distribution impact is for me as an author is that it amplifies um, the, the distribution impact greatly. And therein you can actually derive economic benefit. Um, this is about part of the remuneration for the use of your work. And it's just looked at in, in a different way. So in closing, do I have a personal message um, to those hesitating to open, open up collections? Um, my message is, is really about this. It's not a choice, uh, a binary choice on the part of um, authors 
But at the same time, it's really important that uh, the, that proper tools are used um, and education is obtained in order to manage opening up those collections so that authors' rights and interests are uh, respected while at the same time being able to amplify um, and take advantage of the wonderful opportunities um, that the open culture provides to us. Thank you.